What is up my clan? Welcome back to another vlog. Coming at you from my new beanbag chair. This thing's awesome. I love it. Uh, as you'll see in this vlog, I, uh, I, I unboxed it and, and set it up on stream, but then I showed you guys along with a couple other things in the room from Christmas and whatnot and, uh, you know, opening gifts and whatnot. Uh, and then we have Sierra's preseason first volleyball tournament with a new club, new team, and uh, it's interesting. It's interesting to say the least. Um, I decided to, to split up the weekend into two vlogs because, uh, well, technically it's three days, but uh, I felt like the volleyball stuff was its own vlog, and then the next vlog will be Sunday specifically when I use my new smoker for the first time. So you're going to stay tuned for that. Lots of amazing food. Tiffany got crazy with the air fryer. You'll see a little bit in this vlog, but then the next vlog, the next vlog is a good one. So stay tuned for the next vlog. Until then... Enjoy this one. Good morning, guys. Welcome to the day after Christmas. We just got back from me, mom, and papa's house. We had a sleepover, and uh, Tiffany was like dreading coming home, like thinking it was just gonna be a mess, but it's actually not that bad. We actually did a pretty good job of stacking boxes, boxes. That's just her one box of her stuff there. The kids already brought their stuff upstairs, my stuff's upstairs. It's actually not that bad. And you plan on going out today? Yeah, go to Target. It's a boxing day, right? Is that what it's called? Boxing day. Is that today's called? Boxing day? I don't know. Gotta get the clearance stuff next Christmas all up in my totes and be like, ooh. Yeah, new stuff. What's up guys? I don't remember what we vlogged. I think we did a hi, good morning, we're back home, and then that was it, I think. Uh, I streamed, Bryce played video games, Sierra and Tiffany went shopping. Did you go vlog at all shopping? I didn't bring the camera. She didn't bring the camera, okay. So they, bought, they bought some shopping, uh, Christmas wrapping paper and stuff that was on sale and stuff and things. And then Sierra had a volleyball scrimmage. You saw that. And preparing for a tournament tomorrow. We got a big tournament tomorrow. It's a, it's a local, with their own club, and it's 9.30 at night, and we're just now getting back home, and we have Taco Bell, because Taco Bell has a drive through now. Taco Bell has, we have a Taco Bell in our neighborhood, so yay, Taco Bell, nachos, party pack. Yeah. Also, King's Coast Beanie, tis the season. Oh, and Dr. Lupo, end game. Oh yeah, you like that beanie hat, beanie hair? That's beanie hair right there. Woo. So just a couple, just a recap. Uh, I opened up on stream today a bunch of my things I got for Christmas. I uh, set up the beanbag chair that they got me, which is awesome. It's, uh, it's it's like a like it's long. It's not round. I was expecting like a round beanbag chair, right? But it's actually more of like a body style where you like lay down long ways with it. And I love the color, lime green. It's perfect. It looks really good in here on stream. Uh, I showed everybody off a picture of Sierra. This picture that Sierra drew of me looks really good. I'm actually going to post this on Instagram tomorrow with the original photo so you guys can see how close it looks to me. It looks pretty good. It's pretty good. I told her it's it's her style. So even though like, the cheeks are a little thicker, like, you know, I have a, if you look at my, my jawline, I have kind of a tapered jawline, right? But she kind of drew me where I have like chipmunk cheeks. I said, it's your style. Don't embrace it. Embrace it. Um, but yeah, we set that up today. Showed that off today. Oh my God, I burnt this new candle. I got this when I bought Tiffany's stuff at um, Bath and Body Works. And I forget what the name of their Black Barn, Black Blackwood. I, don't, I forget what it's called, but it's like the candle store next door. And oh God, it's the uh, aromatherapy candles. I love these. This is the stress relief. It's eucalyptus and spearmint. So good. This one and the orange ginger, which is the like energy one are my two favorites. Oh, so good. But anyways, I, uh, I lit that in here and just kind of like makes my room smell really good. And like I said, lowers my stress, lowers my stress. And then the other thing I opened up today too was um, the uh, the hot sauce, the dynamite hot sauces that they got me. It was like in a, a round pack, looked like dynamite. And each one, oh my God, I just saved that bottle. Broke my toe, but saved the bottle. Ow. Um, dang, that hurt. Yeah, so they're all individual bottles like this. So this is, they're called Swift Burn. This is the smoky bourbon hot sauce. There's garlic hot sauce, jalapeno hot sauce, chipotle pepper hot sauce, and red chili hot sauce. Very excited to try those. I'm a big fan of, I'm a connoisseur, if you will, of good hot sauces. So the kids know, the wife knows, I'm a fan of hot sauce. That's an easy gift, is buy me hot sauces. So 
I busted those open today as well. We'll be trying those out often, frequently, and all that. Anyway, uh, we're gonna call it a night. Tomorrow, Sierra kicks off her first volleyball tournament of the season. Uh, it's a local one, it's just with her club, so we're excited about that. So we'll be, playing, we'll be playing there and doing that, so stay tuned for that. Good morning, guys. It's Friday. It's the first day of Sierra's first tournament of the season. It's, uh, it's a home, it's their, it's their club's uh, invitational, so uh, it doesn't count towards the overall rankings. It's just for fun. It's kind of kick off the season, and her, team, her, uh, her club's hosting it, so it's close to our house and uh, all the teams will be there. So uh, we're really excited to watch some volleyball. You know, last night's scrimmage was a nice little like precursor, like getting the girls warmed up, kind of get the girls into motion. But today's a little more serious because they're actually gonna be playing other teams, even though the, the score, you know, it doesn't really matter as far as rankings go. It's, it's just for clout. It's just for bragging rights. It's been raining all day and all night and it looks like it's stopped for now. But you can still hear like the little Little like drip drops from like the roofs and the trees and that sort of thing. It's cold and wet. It's cold and wet. First down the stairs is Sierra. She's so excited. Got her blanket, her new backpack, rocking her new hoodie with her new jersey. It's all new. <laughs> home uh, long day of volleyball uh, first day uh, they ended with at one and two so two losses one one win but uh, it's just for fun just for training just for uh, testing purposes so it doesn't really mean anything but it still feels bad right so still, still hurts to have a loss so ending day one and two we have two more games tomorrow but that's tomorrow today we are in the kitchen and Tiffany's busting out her air fryer she got for Christmas and we're gonna make some tater tots in the air fryer. And we're gonna take some of the carnitas from Christmas Eve and make some tachos. Cheese and tater tots and pork. What else we got? Green onions? The green onion, tomato, sour cream. All the fixings. Hot sauce. Hot sauce. Hot sauce. Lots of hot sauce. She's also burning one of her new candles she got for Christmas. Fresh balsam. It smells like a pine tree. Going through everything from Mima and Papa's house. I think this is all Bryce and Sierra stuff for the most part. Stuffers. Yeah, the stocking stuffers. What you doing? Playing Madden. Playing Madden? Yeah. With? Mason, but With he's going to eat pizza. Oh, okay. We're, yeah. we're, get, we're starting tater tots. We're going to do mm -hmm. tachos. So you're playing Madden. Mm -hmm. What other games do you get for Christmas? Modern Warfare. Modern Warfare? Just those two? Mm -hmm. You need to get the basketball one like Mason? No. Oh, okay. All right. So Madden and Modern Warfare. Look at, so For now. But you got gift cards. Yeah. You might be able to buy more. I'm playing here, it's like a bot player, and these guys are like super tiny. Like, look at my yeah. guys versus them. <laughs> That's And the one, like, normal guy is their quarterback. Ooh, and Sierra's got her color changing bulb on. Hello there, little. What are you watching? Incredibles. Incredibles, too? She's reading the instructions. I'm like, making sure it seems simple, but. <laughs> it never is. All right, so here it is. You have the temperature, you have the timer, and then you have the basket with the crisping 
tray underneath that's removable and just dishwasher safe. So I did one even layer. We're gonna put it in. Sounds sturdy. Okay. Okay. And now we're gonna set the timer. Oh wait, we're, yeah, we're probably gonna turn it on. That's a good idea. Oh, nope, just kidding. We're gonna set the temperature to 400. All the way. And then you have to do, because it's cold, we haven't used it yet. Let's do 17 minutes, but add three to preheat. So let's do 20, 20. minutes. I don't know if I turn it on. That's 22 minutes. Ooh. That's it. That's it. Set it and forget it. This is so crazy. Stuff that they come up with. We're about halfway through and we're doing a spot check and they are crispy. The browning, they smell amazing. We're just doing a quick flip. Shake. Shake it up, shake it up. So we were just talking wine. Uh, my brother brought this bottle over for, uh, for Christmas Eve. It's Oberon, Oberon? Napa County Cabernet. Uh, it's it's good. I, I'm, like I said, I'm still trying to figure out my palate, what I like, what I don't like. Uh, any bottles that we do like are going up on the top. So those are all bottles we've drank, or I drank, and liked, would buy again. So that's basically what I'm doing is, Tiffany knows now if she sees one of these, some you can buy online, or uh, buy in a store, some of them you can't. But if she sees these, these are rebuys. But uh, I'm so far I'm enjoying the, the wine journey. I don't know about you. We've been drinking rosés and chardonnays for a while. Yeah, but now the red flag's starting to. Reds are yeah. growing on her. Yeah, and I just my, my whole philosophy behind drink trying to get into wine is it's something like you can bring over to a party, right? Guests when you have guests over, a lot of people like wine and it's a social drink, and you know you just pour one glass and someone can sip on it. It doesn't necessarily get warm, right? Like beer, you hand someone a beer, they have to kind of drink it in a timely fashion or it gets warm or room temperature and no one likes that. And I also think it's more of like a, I'm not, I'm, I tried the bourbons, I tried the whiskeys, not really digging those as much. So I'm looking for more of like a sophisticated drink that I can sip on in social gathering. And I feel like wine's that for me. I'm not digging the whiskeys and the bourbons, so I'm trying the wines and so far I'm digging that. Which I didn't think I was going to because I don't like grape, I don't like grape juice. <laughs> so while we're waiting for uh, the tater tots to get done, I was reading through the, uh, the Traeger Smoker manual here. And inside they have uh, all the different wood pellets that they sell for Traeger. And like what they're good for and what they recommend, what meat's for, and if you're looking for a certain type of smoky flavor. So I'm educating myself because this Sunday I plan on taking it for a test spin and doing a tri-tip. I'm going to smoke a tri-tip. Uh, her dad got me some cherry wood. So we've got cherry wood here that we're gonna use for the, uh, the tri-tip. Buddy of mine, uh, Randy, sent me a recipe for a tri-tip that he likes. So we're gonna, we're gonna do that recipe. And I'm not sure what we're doing for sides. That's Tiffany's department. I told her, we have the smoker now. I'll do the meats and the main courses. She does all the sides and we'll work as a team. First batch is done. What do you think, Bryce? Good, huh? Yeah. How is it, guys? Good. Delicious. Are they good, delicious? Yeah. Are they, but how are the tater tots, though, themselves? Delicious. Like, do they taste like they were fried? Like, they're legit? Like they're from Sonic. Tastes like they're from Sonic. Oh, you got you got the Sonic thumbs up. And so is what we're making. Tachos. Throw in some pork, some cheese. Oh, you don't have to cut the tomato for me. They had kids in one of them. <laughs>
cotton picker. Oh, I saw you stealing cotton. You gonna make a shirt? I'm gonna throw it in one because she really <laughs> So we're all wrapped up with the volleyball and Sierra was starving because she uh, they didn't get a chance to really eat or snack between games. Um, and so she, got, she wanted a burger, that's what, that's what she asked for, but Tiffany had it planned to uh, check out a new Mexican food restaurant down here in Buckeye, Old Town Buckeye, off the main, the main road, the main street. Uh, but the kids didn't want to do Mexican food and they didn't want to go out to a restaurant. So we grabbed, we grabbed Culver's for them, dropped them off at home, and now Tiff and I are down in Old Town Buckeye, <laughs> checking out this place called La Placita Cafe. It was established in 1962. So, yep, here we go. Yeah, come check us out. Well, there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed that vlog. Um, as I said, Sierra ended the weekend two and three. Not great, but could be worse. And uh, as for that Mexican restaurant that Tip and I went to, sorry we didn't vlog anything. It was kind of a new experience. Uh, food was good. Service was a little slow. Uh, we definitely want to go back uh, during the day, normal business hours, not like a late Friday night kind of thing, just to test, try it out again because the food was good. It just seemed like a little off, you know, like I said, maybe shorthanded or something like that because of the holidays. Um, but service was slow, so the food was, you know, not piping hot like Tiffany likes it. So anyway, uh, thanks so much for watching. Like I said, tomorrow there'll be another vlog. It'll be Sunday specifically using the new smoker, Tiffany busting out the air fryer and making all kinds of amazing food and then family game night. So come back for that one. Vlog on.